I, I like wine. I like wine a lot. And so I found myself as I was preparing poetry for, for today, like I got a lot of wine poems as well as a couple of whiskey poems here and there. Um, but I, I love a good wine. Um, and so I've got some poems here about wine and spirits that I like to share with folks. Again, a couple of these you may have heard. A couple of these are, are new. A couple of these are new. Uh, my wife and I love going up to the Central Coast. We love Paso Robles. We love um, going to Big Sur. We love, we love that whole part of the state. Um, so here's my Central Coast scene. Sipping upon a beautiful wine, a liquid book of short stories detailing the exploits of the land while nibbling upon a grainy cracker topped with a tart, dry Spanish cheese. Gazing across a quilted valley, a hand-sewn golden brown blanket with patches of deep green old growth oak groves and tight, neat squares of lush vineyard rose, stimulated by the cool Pacific breezes. All of it enchanting, invigorating, navigating into a euphoric mind, muscles melting into the happiness of some subconscious West Coast jazz, indulging in every sensation. My psyche simply surrenders to this Central Coast scene. So again, one of our favorite places. Um, let's do another wine poem. I am no connoisseur of Pinot Noir. It's not one of my favorite varietals, but some stretch of code deep within the chemical confines of my DNA contain an affinity for this specific grape, from this specific place, from this specific time, fermented and blended in this specific way, conjuring this concoction, a quasi-gelatinous liquid ruby possessing the clarity of a glacial lake, gentle, not weighty by any means, yet containing dark secrets, subtle peppery spices from some exotic continent known only to the most adventurous sort. With just a sip, a switch in my head gets flipped, a complex of electrical circuitry ignites an unexplored realm of creati creativity within an inner sanctum of my cerebral cortex, releasing an unrealized cosmic ether while relaxing in the countryside in a comfy chair, holding it up against a backdrop of brown hills dotted with stubborn old oak trees, I gleefully gaze into this glass. This is a writer's wine. Yeah. And if you ever want to know what the, what the, what the, uh, I, I can, I can tell you what the, the year and the, and the, and the, the winemaker is, if you ever want to know that, I can tell you that. It's a great bottle of wine. <laughs> um, my dog. On, a, on, a, on Fridays, after a long week, um, you, you may have noticed I haven't been around to a lot of the, the, the open rings. I've been very busy with, uh, with, with the job and during this pandemic it's kept me really busy. But Fridays, um, my favorite thing to do is to uh, take my dog for a walk. I, I pour myself a little bit of, of scotch and walk my dog out, out my fortress of solitude out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and so I call this one my whiskey walk. The sun begins to set behind the snow-capped mountain to the west. The tips of my fingers pointed downward, clasp a low wall glass of scotch. Sauntering along the rough gravel road with my faithful companion, his ears folded and flopping, tail vigorously wagging, plodding by my side. At the top of the hill, we stop. A small pool of whiskey trickles over my palate as we gaze across the basin and appreciate our rural life. <laughs> 